today we're talking about the pink economy in China. The Chinese LGBT community is becoming more accepted in China and with that, brands have opportunity to reach a new and potentially affluent market. Here are the top 5 things brands should know about the pink economy in China before marketing to them. The pink economy means money. That's right. The country's so-called pink economy is currently valued at 300 billion US dollars per year, making it the world's third largest after Europe and the US. Many members of the LGBT community are middle-class consumers that have been overlooked by traditional brands. This means they have money but fewer places to spend it. Brands looking to expand in China should cater to this strong market of over 70 million people. Brands that are looking to tap into this market of 70 million people can start with Blue D. If you haven't heard of Blue D, it's okay because it's not very popular outside of China. But what is Blue D? It is the largest LGBT dating app in the world. You heard that right. China is home to the world's largest LGBT dating app with around 27 million users. Brands that are thinking of marketing to this crowd should start by talking to these app's developers and create interesting campaigns based on their users' data. Proud but not yet loud Although there are more praise, drag shows, events, and even job fairs, most members of the LGBT community in China are still shy about their sexuality and many have not been open with their families or friends. Brands should be aware of this aspect before designing any products or campaigns for this community. Social media campaigns on WeChat or Weibo might be well designed but fail to go viral due to the fact that most people are unwilling to share this post or content. Remember that although many Chinese are proud of their sexuality, they are still reluctant to openly share it with the world. Although not everyone is loud about their sexuality, society is changing and becoming more accepting of the LGBT community, which means now is the perfect time to enter the pink economy. More and more brands are openly marketing to this segment of society. But as society becomes more accepting, the market becomes more competitive. If you want to make impact and stand out before the market becomes overcrowded, now is the time. That brings us to our number one thing brands should know about the pink economy in China. Brands need to be committed to the cause. Don't just run marketing campaigns to look progressive. There are many brands in China looking to make a quick sale and consumers are wary of brands that make big claims but fail to follow through. If your brand is committed to serving this community, make it clear in your campaigns and be ready to follow through with your promise. If you can follow through, then you will have a chance of tapping into this market and making the pink economy green. So there you have it. If you are a brand looking to expand in China, then the pink economy is a great starting point. There are many opportunities for brands that are willing to engage with the LGBT community and provide valuable products and services. I hope you learned a little bit more today. I'm your host, Jalan. And as always, don't forget to like and follow. See you next time.